I have absolutely terrible self-control. I mean, real horrible self-control. And I just picked up a ground branch. And I've been looking forward to this one for a while now. It basically markets itself towards the fans of the older Rainbow Six and Ghost Recon games. And if you have been hanging around my stream, you know pretty much that I've been streaming a lot of both Ghost Recon and Rainbow Six. I mean, just look at look below. So, the first thing we are going to do is we're actually going to sh check out the customize. Oh, I don't know what's wrong with his eyes there, but it, it looks horrible. Uh, so, this is basically the operator. You can, uh, you can uh, customize, and there's a lot of shit here you can actually customize. So, uh, first of all, let's call him Raven, because Raven is my operator call sign. I mean, those eyes, those eyes are just horrifying. I don't know what's what's really wrong with them, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll pick that head. Uh, no official head. And just because of that, now everything else pretty much disappeared, but uh, we can choose a BDU and we can actually choose flags here. This is something that is quite amazing. Uh, we can basically just pick our arm patches, and we can have different ones on left and right arm. And I really, really like that. So, we can actually have quite a few different items here, but we, we're gonna go with the polo shirt. I have no idea how I picked the color of it, or if that's even possible at this stage in time, but... Anyone who's seen me airsofting knows I rock polo shirts. So we're going to keep on doing that. Uh, then we have the jeans. It, the entire model looks a bit weird without any arms, but hey, who am I to judge? Uh, or we could pick the combat ones. Ah, now I see. There is actually a little bit of a toggle here where you can pick your color. That's really nice. So, I usually run around with a black one. Oh, nice. This is a really sweet uh, setup of... Um, so, we have different colors, everything like that. It, I mean, so far, I'm really enjoying this customization. Especially considering how far they can take it. So, we're going to have a black polo, and we are going to have Gen 3 Flecton pants, or if, nah, nah, let's just have the regular, the regular one. As for gloves, let's just go bare hands, and there my hands showed up. Basically, I'm going to model this little operator based on my airsoft gear. Uh, because that that's, that's the fun. Oh, apparently Tabby... And that didn't save anything, sadly, but uh, I can live with that. I know pretty much what uh, what options I picked, so. Of course, um, bugs and stuff like that are to be expected. Uh, no facial hair. So, um, I'm, I don't really mind the fact that there are bugs. This is early access, after all. So, please keep that in mind as you watch this. Everything you see is early access. And I don't know if I can have a patch with my polo shirt, but I would I would like to have patches on the polo shirt. If, ooh, we're not going to go into weapons just yet. Uh, we can also have a baseball cap, and we can pick different... Or we can have just Comtac or Helmet or Utility Cover or stuff like that. And for some reason, I can't get the Utility Cover in Flecton. Uh, that's a bit of a... I wish I could have that, but we're not going to have any... 
Oh, we can even create new kits based on items. But since there are no head, and we then of course we pick up have sunglasses because I usually wear that can, and because we need to cover up those horrible eyes. Uh, we can have a baklava if we want, but the baklava d doesn't really look that good. And of course, we c then have a platform, uh, chest harness, or whatever the hell this is. Or just a simple tactical vest. And of course, we can pick color. In, the uh, in order for it to look solid alongside the pants, I'm going to make it green. As for sidearm, uh, we have a number of options. The Glock 22. Uh, actually, we're going to save this one as Raven, just so we have it saved. Oh, that's nice. You can have a bunch of different loadouts saved here as well, so that's actually pretty nice. Uh, but I think I'm going with the Glock 22. And then we have... Ooh, there is a quite of. We have the UMP, the MP7, the MP5. We have shotguns. We have M16s, the 416s. We have a, quite a lot of nice weapons here. Uh, of course. So let let's pick the M, uh, the 416 shorty and see what. Oh, this is the weapon customization right here. Uh, so basically, I suspect what's what uh, we can do now is basically add a bunch of accessories. So we even have risers, we have different sights. Oh, I I can either adjust where the hell they're supposed to be. I mean that that's that's nice. That's really really nice. I like it. I wonder if I could. I could even put it, put this up for co-witnessing. That's really nice. Of course, it's going to be a bit high for co-witnessing, but hey, they that I like this. Uh, actually, let's put that off and put a version three hollow side on. As for under barrel, we can have an angled foregrip or MPX foregrip or stuff like that. I mean, we can do a lot of nice shit with this. Hell, we can even put, we c of course, we can't put a bipod on that one, but it's still nice. So let's put an angle foregrip right over there. Uh, as for muscle devices, we should really ought to have a suppressor on there. And as for magazines, we might as well just switch it out for a polymag. Um... Uh, Something I would like to have, but I fully understand if they don't have that yet. Oh, we can even put on rail covers. This is really nice. I mean, damn. I didn't expect such an there to be such an option. Uh, but see, nah. Oh, we can even we can even switch this to the other side like that and. I mean, holy shit, this this weapon customization is nice. So, we're gonna call this uh, 416 Alpha and save it. So, if, we, if I've understood this correctly, yeah, the 416 Alpha now shows up in the list and equipped just the way we want it. Uh, actually, because I'm a sucker for well-done customization, we're actually going to pick the MP5 Navy. And based on the MP5, we're actually going to... Unfortunately, I don't seem to be able to remove this rail here. I would really like to have removed the rail. Because when it comes to the MP5, iron sights are king. So... Uh, but of course we need to do that all over again, so. And, uh, let's see here, accessories. Oh, there's even a tack light. Nice. Of course we're gonna have a tack light for our MP5. As for sights, we can even have the, you can put on the, the, uh, iron sights from 416 if we like. 
we don't like. Uh, but we are gonna have an older style EU tech on there. Nice. Some sites might require a laser drink uh, riser to ensure a side picture. That's really nice. Uh, no muscle device and standard MP5 mag. That's nice. So we're gonna call this MP5 Raven. Which is nice. And uh, yeah. We are gonna prep a... F just going to make sure we prep a... Just another weapon. Uh, not a sniper rifle, because I don't really think I will be in a position. When it comes to the... I'm actually going to... Yeah, the MP5, nice. Uh, so the MP5 SD is one we don't actually have to do anything with. It's going to be glorious as it is. But we're actually going to have a look on the Galil here. Ah, the Galil was boring. All you could do with that was um, the magazines. But I really enjoy what... Ooh, nice. The AK. But let's see if... Uh... Let's uh, try the aircraft to take the... Now, let's just go with the kill house the fir first thing we do. So, the fact that... Okay, so we have our sidearm here, and we have a weapon here. Okay, so right now we have the uh, an M4, so we're gonna pick up the MP5. We just we just customized. Here it is, nice. Okay, so we're probably sh should not enter the kill house that way because entering the kill house that way. Is pretty much akin to cheating at this point. So let's see if we can find an entrance. The entrance will most likely be in the last place we look. Ah, here it is. Let's do this. That might have been a white target. Reload. So far I really like the gunplay and especially the fact that... Uh, yeah, of course there's leaning as well. I wonder if I'm expected to hit them a certain degree. Oh, nice. Magazine is left on the ground, of course. Breach, breach, breach. Target destroyed. Move on. So you can basically fire from the hip as well. It's not as accurate and you don't have any close hair to help you out. Oh, I really like how the pistol feels. And I really like the pistol reload. I mean, I... Yeah, we're out. For some reason, we were able to reload that thing, bef but let's just empty the MP5 and see what happens. Ah, 
I wonder how many magazines we got, really. I also like the fact that the weapon obviously doesn't stay on target just because I... Ah, we're out. So we're gonna head back to the main menu, see where... yeah. So we're gonna run the... there are a couple of more training areas here, but we're gonna try air fo uh, aircraft takedown, see what the hell that is. Oh, nice. I really like the fact that they have actually bothered to make it like a training exercise, like a container and stuff like that. And here's our customi customization bench, so we're gonna pick the 416 Alpha this time around. Also nice about the fact that there's a target app and stuff like that, that's actually really nice. So we're gonna have a look at that and see what we can do with it. Shooter ready. Yeah, for some reason, th this must this is must be a co-witnessing bug, because my my aiming is basically on the same level as the uh, iron sights, but I have the EU tech on. Reload and move up. I switch to pistol and finish the job. I think that's all of them. Let's go back and see if we missed anyone. I don't think there's a second floor. I also like the fact that you actually dropped the magazine on the ground. Okay, so enemy killed 17 out of 18. So we better go and reload our gun. Perhaps bring another... So let's click to customize and let's bring, let's see here, not a shotgun. Let's just bring a run of the mill 416. I really like these training sessions. Clear it. Clear. And of course, there's a magazine down there, and damn, I look nice. Those aren't my Flecton pants, but I am willing to overlook that at the moment. Unsafe weapon handling. Very unsafe indeed. So let's uh, try that again, but this time let's just do it with something ridiculous. Just because I want to check out the machine gun. Uh, Go! Claire, move up.
See you boys, aiming matters. It was kind of frustrating there when I emptied about 20 or 30 rounds and no hits. Anyhow, let's go to... We can check the offline modes, but I f think actually we were, were doing ourselves... Uh, so, let, let's just go into Blue Fang Solutions 1. See what people are doing in there. Okay, so apparently we are still all no names here. And this is the mission prep area. Nice. Oh, this is this is actually quite neat. Uh, for some reason, I still have jeans when I'm supposed to have combat pants in Flecton. That's nice. And then let's... Someone is shooting up the place. Uh, let's just grab the MP5 and we're done. So these are my fellow operators, and I wonder if this is where we get the briefing or what happens. Yeah, this is the briefing. So... I wonder if this is if we are marking where we're spawning or... Yeah, it looks like it's... I don't know why I don't, why pretty much all of us is pretty much no name, but that's, that's us rookies, right? Apparently we might actually have to wait for the previous operation to finish before uh, moving on. Uh, however, I can't find anywhere to change my name. Most likely that's something you can do in the main menu, but... So, right now we are... You are most likely correct in that, so we are going to have a look there. Yeah. Uh, apparently I had for just forgotten to save it, so there we go. Now we have a... Now we have a name for ourselves, and... Are apparently not allowed on the firing range. Oh, there we go. The mission failed. Our friends ran out of time. So we might as well just basically just click and apply uh, ho and hope that actually reloads us. So here is the rest of the gang. Nice people. Oh, and uh, I might actually want to check so the chat box is in its right position as well, so you people don't appear in some odd place of the screen. So, I suppose we have to run over here and check. Yeah. There we go. Now we wait for the rest of the guys. This is gonna be interesting. Someone is really looking at me. 
Oh, that's really nice. The call sign is on the back of the vests. That's actually a really nice thing. Okay, so ready countdown. And here we go. Or not. Apparently... Oh, wait, we have to declare ready, of course. So we're basically waiting on one of the no-names, but he either disconnected or clicked ready, so... We should be heading into this. Soon, I hope. Okay, so I don't have a suppressor on my MP5. Are people testing out the friendly fire system? I get the feeling they are testing out the friendly fire system. So we have a semi-automatic. Stay with these guys. This is an open. Yeah, those are most likely our guys. So let's try not to fire at them. Ooh, that's interesting. Basically, you can access to whatever you're carrying with uh, these buttons. Nice. And obviously what kind of slings you have too. Really nice thing. Especially if you want to manage different weapons and check out exactly where they're kept too. So we're gonna do a bit of pistol work here, see if we can't enter the building and maybe try not to die. I mean, dying right now would not be a... Also, that's a bit of a weird thing. Uh, running was actually tied to control instead of shift as I'm used to. Then again, this is... This is not really a game where you run all that much. I don't know why, but I'm... I kind of get the feeling that... Yeah, that's... I don't know if that's one of ours, or... Can't go down. Move up. Yeah, that was one of our so happy I shot the right guy. Let's go upstairs and have a look. Clear so far. And time ran out. God damn it. Well, it was fun. Thanks for the tip about the gun holding stands. I'll check it out. Can you follow, please? <laughs> I really like this thing as well, where P 
people's names are under lockers. That's, that's actually a nice little detail. Easy to do. So let's bring the UMP. I'm a, I'm a heckling cock kind of guy, so we're actually gonna do that. I don't have time to adjust it right now, so we're just gonna go with it. Yeah, I think the reason everyone is streaming PvE is because uh, the game literally came out on early access or rather open early access today and people don't want to make asses of themselves <laughs> at least that's what I'm guessing at we make a pretty nice line here I want... Of course people are fooling around in the waiting room. Why would they not? We. For early access, the voice is also pretty Ooh. neat. <laughs> I mean, it has to be in a game like this, where communication is key, but still. Koordinator, bitte sich in der Kinderabteilung melden. Äh, geil. Ja, man. Oh, wo ist ein Koordinator? Komm! Hallo, es geht schon! Co-Koordinator. Alright. There's still one there, so let's... Move your asses, my friend! God damn it! This terrorist and I are equally bad at shooting. <laughs> Let's take the point. Twelve enemies left. Let's move towards the main building. Keep an eye out to... Looks like the UMP and I are at least better friends. Reload. Okay, let's uh, stack up on that guy. Might be the AI trying to shoot 20. through uh, the wall. I hope. <laughs> if I've learned anything from the enemies in this game is that if you don't want to be hit, you don't pick a... Six enemies left! Cleared. Behind you, behind you. Clear. At least I can't see anyone here. Yeah, it looks like someone else went in here and cleared it ahead of us. 
And it doesn't seem like they're up upstairs, so. Go, go, go! I can't tell if that's uh, an enemy or one of us, but I think it's an, uh, one of us. He has a name on him. Have anyone actually checked this building? I'm getting the kind of feeling that no one actually went in there. See, practice makes perfect. Got your six, mate. Fuck, sorry. Oh, wait, that was actually... Uh, he he killed <laughs> Tough luck. Yeah, I know, I, it's what I get. Let's see if we can't get a modded one. Or... Maybe adjust our 416, because our 416 had a really funny... Thing goes on there. Basically, uh, what? Basically, what I tried was uh, God damn it! Stop shooting! I tried doing a co-witnessing thing, and uh, basically, the side picture became all bad. So we're we're stripping the gun off its. Um, of those things, and we're putting a red dot on there. Yes, over right. And there we go. Uh, let's check Riverbend. As long as people don't try and stand too much in my way. Let's go. So yeah, I know I can customize the guns. Uh, I customized an MP5 and an HK416 earlier. And uh, the 416, the reason I changed it and removed iron sights was because there, there was an interesting bug where you would have both iron sights and EOTech on. So basically, the EOTech. Uh, reticule would appear in the iron sight height, so it would be almost impossible to aim. It was hilarious, but it's not something that's actually useful, so... So we're gonna head in there and hopefully do a bit better. Also, hi, Stary. Yeah, Apparently, as uh, I heard that you forgot... I heard that you forgot your Twitch password, so I'm calling you out for that one. No, it's waiting on Peru. Peru, Peru, Peru. But I have to say, this anti this uh, dressing room thing is actually a pretty neat idea. Alright, so next countdown. And we are on. Oh, different map this time. Uh, woods. Radio check. Radio check. Ten by ten. Check. Oh, so we still got the UMP then. Still, the UMP is not a bad gun, so we'll, we'll stick with that. I should have just rem remembered to actually equip the 416. Oh god! Really? Thankfully it was not a lethal one. I'm right behind you, mister! Uh, a lot of people behind me, actually. <laughs> Stack up on the door. How do you, uh, and four? Are you breaching? Nope. I can, I can, I can. Yeah, yeah, I can, I make can it, make it. I can drag a... Uh, Al Alpha, go, go, go. I, I wouldn't reach, fuck you. FBI, open up! <laughs> <laughs> At least the people in this game so far have a pretty neat sense of humor. 
Upstairs yeah. is clear, boys. Looks like, looks like there's no one here. I'm gonna access the roof. Ich kann die Tür nicht aufmachen, ne? Was ist so los? Let's move to the second building, see if we can't find any more people there. Of course, trying to jump this is probably a fool, Saren. Let's just walk around it. Five enemies left. I don't know where the rest of the enemies are, but they don't seem to be around here. Fucking friendly fire, are you dumb? Alright, we're on the roof. Mission failed, time run out. <laughs> How do you see um, if there is an Yeah, enemy considering the fact that the, the, the German the server the and uh, basically anyone can buy ground brands from uh, that link today. Uh, we are bound to run into people who are. Yeah, we Does got the... Uh, no, we're... Go ahead. The alpha, there we go, apply. Yeah, so we should be good. Oh, get, talk to me, huh? No, the cost is not all. I have no idea what just happened it's there. It's in the hand. As long as it's not my fault, I'm fine. Someone tell me how I can swap sight. I got two sights on my gun. How can I swap? House wheel up down. Mouse wheel up down, thank you. Yeah, Why do you fuck well. pick up your gun? Ooh, that's also nice. You can look down at your body, double check everything. That's kinda neat. I can see this thing being real fun to have when they actually got flink in the game. Also, I get the feeling that this entire low ready and high ready stance and stuff like that is going to take a bit of time getting used to. How much time do we have on the actual mission? 10 seconds. We have until Fuse fuses the hostage. There's a hostage? Even with, even with the limited options. No name and lizard, you gotta come here and get ready. Hold your fire. Click a button, please. I love. Go go go. There's quite go, a lot go. of us. Click a button. Come here. It's not me, man. Open no fire. Name. Hey, Norman. No it's name. this Hold guy. On. Hello. The guy on. The guy with the SVD, come on. Yeah, I barely have so one hour in the game, so. Yeah, you know, you gotta choose a spawn point, dude. You gotta oh, choose a spawn point. I'm sorry, I have no idea. Friendly. Yeah. 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 Okay. Man, now no. we're good. 10 4, we're about to start. No, Peruno. Peruno. Ich fühle mich überfordert. <lacht> hey, are you Santa? Weil du aus dem Raum hier rausgehst, bist du aus der Liste raus. Are you the Black Santa? Peruno. <lacht> yeah. Maybe. Äh. <lacht> 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 <lacht>
Alright. Hey guys, wanna go some weed? Let's run. Time for we got a situation. We're about to kill all the dudes on the sides. Yeah, no friendly fire. Donald Trump is inside. Kill all hostiles. Go, go, go. FBI, open up. Alright. This is the FBI, open up. Breach and clear, <laughs> breach and clear. One can't uh, complain about the energy they put into it. So let's open this door and hit them from two directions. Search warrant! I mean, uh, since I spent so much time in SWAT. Yeah, I think that was a friendly fire. Fairly convinced. Yeah. So, so let's just spectate the rest of the game. Check out the observational tools. Oh god no. Germans. Hey, at least it was uh, them shooting me and not me shooting them. As far as the friendly, I am the recipient of friendly fire, I'm actually far more understanding of it. Great, the guy with a shotgun is standing on a rooftop. I can see literally no problems with that. I can't even tell if they actually don't know where the enemy is, or they're just shooting blindly into the air, or what's going on here. Ah, time ran out. <laughs> yeah, people are not really using prone and crouch here. So we have the yeah, list of... Uh, Only when the time goes out. <laughs> So, let's have a look on the M14, and uh, we're going to remove the sights, and we are going to commit some really, oh, that was the front sight, the front sight belongs here, and we're going to put on H and K sights on it, just because, it, on. just because I can do it, alright? That's the only reason I'm doing it. I'm doing it because I can. So under barrel, let's go with an angled. Oh wait, I couldn't. Oh, an actual grip on. Nice. And we're actually gonna save this as the M14 Doom. Save and apply. I don't know if I actually applied with the M14 uh, now, but. Tell me how to change the name. We'll see. God damn it. Oh, we got a helipad. Jeez. How can I change my name, please? Character customization. Room in the ready and change it. I don't know. I thought it. I thought it. This is not half bad. It's an abomination, but it's not half bad. Oh, 
FBI, open up. We must all commit heresy when designing our weapons. Okay, so one more. And why the fuck can you shoot as fast as you want with the M24? It's a bolt action rifle. <laughs> oh, we need to we need to try that. If you can shoot as fast as you like with the M24, then that's actually quite hilarious. <laughs> Just the thought of a full fully automatic M24 is actually quite hilarious. Who the hell is it who just went nuts with the soundboard? Friendly. Roger that. Open fire. Oh, come on, can't people can just take your weapon? Moving up. Man, what was man that? down. Uh, not in here. You can't Covering. Weapon in here. Man down. Oh. Moving up. Moving up. <laughs> Who's fucking scoring? Affirmative. <laughs> Covering. Take it down. Gosh. Clear. Just pick a spawn point if you haven't done go, go, so, go. please. Go, go, go. Negative. Move your ass to the operations room and select your spawn point. Thank you. Hold. Thank Hold you, your fire. Sure. Pull back. Hold your fire. Friendly. Ready. Fire. Woo! Let's do this. Let's bring the heresy to bear. My MP7 and I. Bring Sajuk to bear. So we basically have an M14 with H and K sights, uh, grip, grip, fo on the left. bipod four grip. The sound effect from my oh, we can actually pick that up. Let's do that. Let's see if we can... This is the weapon of your enemy! The AK is... Let's keep up the fire on the rooftop. Reload and keep it moving. Let's see if we can't get the rest of the terrorists. I mean, we pretty much outnumber the terrorists, and we still can't find them all. It's a bit ridiculous, really. Nine enemies left, and probably just ten seconds or something in time. I can live with that. Let's go. Let's enter the building, see if there's anyone here. Ah, someone else have already cleared this. Oh, so now I threw my gun away. And went through the floor in order to retrieve it. Considering you can pick up guns, I suspect that weight is gonna be a factor in this game.
so clear. Or, uh, yeah, mission failed. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna exit. Oh crap, we're, we're not supposed to exit to the desktop. Uh, I'm, let me just restart it and uh, we're heading back in. Well, so far, Sorry about that. So far, I would say that uh, Round Branch is interesting. Uh, of course, it's early access. I mean, it, it's pretty much the first day of early access. So, you have to take that into account. Okay, so that's basically... Uh, Let's have a look on this server as well. I can't actually find any PvP servers, but that I might not be looking too hard either. Either way, Ground Branch so far is... Uh, it's gonna need a lot more polish before it's a complete tactical experience. Uh, but it's still a pretty interesting game. I mean, it certainly has potential. And, uh, but right now, you have to consider the fact that, uh, so let's, uh, customize the M24 and see what we can get for it. Uh, let's remove that one, and, uh, let's just put a... Waiting on Sledge and No Name Zero. So save. Okay, guys, how can I, how can I pull out my weapon? There's a lot of people here, so let's just spawn. You can't pull your gun inside the ready room. There we go. Here. Oh, you're so pretty, you old man. Thank you. Oh, oh, you, 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 we are far too many in this ready room. Well, I won't say... It's not really say... been an issue until now. Uh, I won't say good or bad yet because it's early access and I think it's Who the a fuck bit... said that I'm pretty? It's kind of unfair to judge a game based on early access. But so far, I mean, I've been I've been here for about an hour right now and I actually kind of enjoy the experience. Is it me? Even Do you here. mean me? Me, Oscar? But pretty much yeah, everyone yeah, right now is very, very silly. Never mind the fact that we are a lot of people here. God damn it, we are a lot of people here. Kick, kick for players, kick for players. No worry. Yes, kick, kick. Someone basically created a server where the map actually can't handle all the people. Okay, and guys. Ev everyone is just standing around okay, here. Okay, kick last one. Kick no, no, no. Take left spawn. Left spawn is free. Right, right. Left spawn is free. Good shot. Don't All right, this is going to be interesting. Okay, Even ready, guys. I will wreck you. Someone is most likely going to shoot us all in the back. Let's go, let's fuck them all. Okay, so we have the M24 with a reflex sight on. Because of course we do. If you don't have a weapon, press 1. It will equip your gun, then you can right mouse button and that should bring up the sights. That red laser is a bit strong, but hey. This is more the kind of experience I wanted from uh, the, uh, Ready or Not. Not really the terrorist hunt, the run and gun stuff. More like the being careful and sweeping the area and stuff like that. It's more more what I had in mind when uh, buying this game, actually. Then again, I'm the idiot who is running around with an M24 with a reflex sight, so I shouldn't really say anything on that score. Do you see any? There's too many. Clear. There's a guy on the upper deck. Uh... 
Oh yeah, my weapon is not. Yeah, uh, yeah, th those are ours. Guys, how can I stand up? I'm crouching right now. Press space. Stay ah, thanks. I don't know how, but I think we're gain some kind of super speed here. There we go. Much more reasonable. On the third floor, what is that? <laughs> the M24 is a bolt action rifle and it's basically being freed in that they semi automatic carbine. I wonder if I can. Let's see if we can actually do that. Roger. I don't know if that was a tango or not. I'll just assume that it was. We don't need his uh, machine gun because uh, the M24 is all the machine gun we need. That said, I was kinda convinced we got the guy, we didn't, but... So people are breaching. If you're asking me what the best Rainbow Six is, then of course I have to say Rainbow Six Free Raven Shield. <laughs> it's still pretty fun. I mean, we are like 24 people on this server and... The game is, doesn't really seem dimensioned for that, but the M24 semi-automatic, that's that's one of the most hilarious bugs I encountered in a, a one time. I mean, you can be, pretty much just imagine how it would feel with that kind of rifle. And suddenly it's just semi-automatic. Semi Wait, they made a gun like that, this was the M1 Garand. Fairly said I pronounced that wrong too, for that matter, but never mind. Any uh, Americans who feel insulted might can just write their feelings down right into the chat. I don't know how much time they got, but it might actually be that they got an hour to do this. But... Obviously, this server seems a bit more serious than the other ones. But it's also a very large map. I can't imagine if uh, you, you would actually want to have 24 people searching a ship like this. Why would you want two primaries? So let's... Uh, we might as well disconnect because uh, they said the server would... Uh, would actually restart after this one. So I actually think we are gonna call it a day. Uh, I have some other shit to do. But uh, my first look into Ground Branch was not really entirely positive, but it was not entirely negative either. You have to remember that this is early access. And for early access, I've seen worse. I've seen a lot worse. I mean, I, bro I bought Interstellar Marines on early access, so I've seen worse. Horribly, horribly worse. And I think that if Ground Branch just keeps it up, Adds more content, may, polishes the game. I think we're gonna have something good here. It's not going to be take down Red Saber. And if you rem remember take down Red Saber, then you remember that was a piece of shit. Ground Branch is even at this stage infinitely better than Red Saber, and that's a good thing. That's actually a really good thing. 
So catch you guys later and I'll see you guys next time.